Yo, what's poppin' gamers? Today we're gonna have a double upload. I just wanted to make this quick little video to show you guys how to do the super jump and everything. A step-by-step -step tutorial because I get asked this on a daily basis. But I will have another video up today. Actually, on the MP7, I dropped a 60 and 0 gameplay. Well, I got more than 60 and 0. But I basically dropped a double nuke on stream and I'll be uploading that gameplay later today. Anyway, since I get asked about the super jump non-stop, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys step-by-step -step, uh, how to do it. And I just wanted to point this out right now. Mac users, you will not be able to do this. I apologize. You will not be able to do it. As far as uh, console players go on Xbox, you will not be able to do it. Mobile players, you will not be able to do it. So I just want to get those things out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and use these boxes over here. This should be fine. So the first thing I want to show you, if you look top left right now, Shift F5, I have 60 FPS. So if you only get 60 FPS in this game, keep in mind, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock that as well. But if you're not getting 60 FPS like it's showing like me, you're not going to be able to do it with FPS unlockers. So if you guys aren't getting 60, first off, you want to go ahead and turn down all your settings and see if you can manage the push 60, like what mine's showing top left at the moment. And if you're able to do that, you have a chance of being able to do it. So first off, since I only have 60 FPS, this is the best you'll get as a super jump. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually get a true super jump. But I'm doing the exact same stuff I would if I didn't have my FPS unlocker. You could still do a pretty high jump without it. But you're not going to get anything special. And the lower your FPS, the less height you're going to get, pretty much. All right. So now this is where things start to get interesting and where a lot of people don't continue to try to get their FPS unlocker. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the game. Okay. Unlocker. FPS unlocker. This is the same exact application I've been using for years, and this is the same one everybody uses. Literally every YouTuber, every streamer, anybody that has higher FPS than 60, they're using this application right here. Can't really call the app. But I'm gonna go ahead and download it on, on video for you guys so you guys can see that it's not a virus or anything, but it will say it is because it has to use your command prompt in order to unlock the FPS for Roblox. So just putting that out there, it is gonna say it's a virus because Microsoft does not appreciate that. So I just click 64 bit. Obviously you want to click whatever your computer is. If you're 32 bit, do that. If you're 64, do that. How do you do that? I don't know how to check that. I honestly don't remember. I, I did learn it a long time ago, but I do not remember it. So you want to go ahead and drag that to your desktop after you download it. Okay. By the way, rest in peace X and juice. And then after you download it, you want to double click it. Okay. Uh, obviously yours is not going to pop up like this because you might not have WinRAR, but I do. And then you want to double click FPS unlocker. So it's going to bring up the prompt. It's going to load the console. Okay. Close that. And then all you have to do is load Roblox back up. So I'm going to bring up this and let's go right back into our private server. By the way, you can do this in public servers too. Doesn't matter. All right. So we finally loaded in. And if I do shift F5 now, look at this off left. I'm pushing 400 FPS. In order for this to happen, the reason why you need higher FPS is because it actually breaks Roblox's physics. Uh, when you have higher FPS and keep in mind, you cannot get banned for this. Roblox themselves have came out and said you can use unlocker about two years ago. So this is a valid thing that you can use. Only specific games might not allow you. They won't ban you for it, but they might not have support for FPS unlocker. So things like animations uh, and stuff like that might break with the FPS unlocker. But luckily, bad business does allow it and they fully support it. Ethan himself said that he does like the super jump, so I don't think he's going to change it. And there's not really much he can do in the first place because it's Roblox physics. There's nothing they can do. All right. So if you look at the bottom left, you do have my keys here. Uh, and that's going to be your indication of what I'm pressing. I'm also going to tell you what I'm pressing. Uh, but first off, we're going to go with some basic stuff. Uh, the basic one is just a simple um, shift W and then space bar. Okay. That's how you're going to have to do it. But you have to do it pretty much exactly the same time almost and it'll launch you in the air like this okay and then you can also combine that with pressing c as well and it'll give you some more height now if you can manage to do this on perfect timing it has to be perfect though you can get literally up to here in height like you can get really high um if you do it correct but it's all about timing everything perfectly if you can manage to do it all right you're gonna be flying but uh yeah that's pretty much how you do it uh, if you just want to do a basic one, just uh, shift W space bar. And if you want to go a little bit higher, if you time it all correctly, you'll go much higher. And that's with including C with it as well. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's very simple. 
But if your computer is not pushing high enough FPS, you're not going to be able to do it. And Xbox and mobile players can't use this. There's one thing I did want to add at the start of the video is that apparently the same guy that made the Roblox FPS unlocker that we're using right now is working on a Mac version. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I was told by multiple people. So you guys might be luck in the near future. I don't know how long it's going to take him to do it. So uh, just keep that in mind. Mac users, you might have a chance. But yeah, I'm going to be double uploading today. I'm actually going to have a gameplay with this, dropping a double nuke with it. If you guys need any more tips and tricks, I do have a tips and tricks video up on my channel that pretty much explains everything that I do and everything you need to know to be a top tier player in this game. So when this video ends at the end screen, it will show a tips and tricks video and or you can go to my channel and find it yourself. But if you guys did enjoy this content, please hit the like button down below. If you guys like to see more tips and tricks and just helpful videos in general, uh, I would appreciate a like. And if you do enjoy content like this, you can also hit that subscribe button down below for more stuff like this in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Peace out.